guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're watching a video about a family that literally lives with bears. I'm not gonna lie, whenever I see a bear, I would literally run in the opposite direction and apparently this family literally lives with them. We're one big bear family. Oh my god, did you not just see that? I tried to bite his face. It was licking his face and then it went in for a nipple. I'm sorry, see that right there. Now nah, that's something you don't want to mess around with. I'm telling you, bears, like, they are so scary. Like, they're literally gigantic. Our bear family, it's like every other family and stuff. You love them to death, but there's other times we drive you nuts, right? Oh my god, it literally is like a big dog. I mean, I've got like a little bear back there, to be fair, it is like a teddy. But like, these bears are literally like dogs, like they basically are dogs. I'm assuming that this is like a bear con Perry. Wait, what's that place? What's that place where like animals go and like stay? It's not like a zoo, it's a, it begins with C, I don't remember what it's called. Jim and Susan run a centre for orphaned wildlife in Otisville, New York. Oh, orphaned wildlife. An orphan is whenever like somebody loses its parents or in this case the bear lost its parent. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, looking at it, it's actually got a really cute face. Like, I look, you wanna go out and give it a wee cuddle. But yet again, it is quite crazy how, like, these bears are, like, actual bears. Like, these are animals. Oh my god, if I went up to it, would I be able to give it a cuddle? I'm there every day, but he is the one that walks in the door and everybody lights up. Wait a minute, what was she just doing? Okay, I don't know if this is just me, but I don't see a leg. She's literally got, like, a foot. Why is she polishing a foot? Did she, like, hack one of the bears? Bear's legs off. <laughs> you know, and it's kind of funny because they just love him to death. Oh my god, it would be so weird having something like that biting you. Also, I'm sorry, the lights in my room are way too bright. I need to turn them down. But like, did you see the way that bear was literally going up and like licking his face? Oh my god, now whenever I see a bear, if I see one, hopefully not. But if I see a bear, I'm gonna go over it and try to give it a hug. This is Jimmy, 21-year-old Kodiak bear. Oh my god, the bear is like 21. It's older than me. I mean, this video was posted in 2016. So when was it born? If it's 21 in that video, it was born in 1995. I don't know why, but I seem to think the bears only lived up until like the age of 12 like dogs. This bear is literally 20 years old. Rescued from a closing wildlife park. He's just one of the 11 bears that lives with them. Okay, so they got 11 bears in like their compound. Oh my god, that's like quite cool. It's got like how many bears? Oh my god, I forgot how many bears they have. It's got a load of siblings. I seen a video a long time ago where like a monkey was basically dying. It was like in a zoo or like a compound. It was quite old. But basically the people there brought like like, the person who used to take care of the monkey whenever it was a wee baby in. And, like, its reaction was so, like, sweet and happy. Imagine one of them bears giving you a hug. It would literally crush you. They knock you around a little bit and stuff. Nothing, you know, not maliciously, you know, but you gotta watch. You don't get scratched or poked in the eye or something. I mean, yeah, you would not want to get scratched or poked by one of them things. Yet again, it's really sketchy because it's like, obviously, like, the bears know who them people are. Like, they're trusted around them. They know how to deal with them. But it's like, one day, if one of them bears literally wake up and they just, like, get anger, just, like, switch, they could kill you so easily. You know, like, you have to be so careful. And that's why I've got a lot of respect for people who work with bears, tigers, monkeys, gorillas. You know, they go out and take care of the animals because, like, any man it, the animal could turn around and just like pounce on you. Oh my hey, god. You know better than that. What are you doing? Oh my god, yet again, just like that can happen that quickly. That is so scary because he could do that to like the human, like that bear could. I love how he's just sat there. He's like, right, mate, wise up. Oh my god, even if a dog done that, I'd be freaking out. I'd be running away. They kill you. You know, he just have to hit you one time. Exactly, like a lot of times people talk about one punch can kill with human. With a bear, literally one push could kill. I know he want to be a bear, like I don't know why. Imagine being like really scary. I want to be Bigfoot. Kodiak bears are one of the largest species in the world. He's about 1,400 pounds and if he stood up on his hind legs, he'd probably be about nine feet tall. Oh my God, nine foot tall. So it's like taller than basketball players are like six, seven. Oh my God, that really is is terrifying. Yet again, whenever I think of bears, like I knew they were big and scary, but I didn't realize they were that big. Like they are proper giants. There's another animal which is like really big that I didn't realize it was as big as what it was. I think it's moose or mice. It's like something you'd see in like the mountains. Yeah, here it is. Here's a moose. Like look how tall that thing is. Imagine if you were literally going out and like that thing just walked in front of you. You know, look at it. Look how big it is. It's gigantic. It's just like animals like that. They're so much bigger than what you genuinely think they are.
or think of the strongest person you know or whatever and you can magnify that by a thousand times yeah he's big i mean a, a small bear will kick your butt and you're literally letting him lie in you oh my god no even if i see like big dalmatian dogs or what are them big 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 dolls called great danes that's what they're called if i even see like one of them lying and rolling people i'm like oh god you're playing a sketchy game that thing could crush you he's literally got a 1400 pound bear lying on him and he's got so much strength all he would have to do is lay on you and he just went to take your face out he just went for a nibble yet again it's sketchy it's like a pick and mix you don't know if you're gonna get them with a good day or a bad day he's like them he's like a bear he has no no fear of them oh my god did you see that jesus look at them paws like they're proper big fingernails sometimes whenever i see like carly b Nicki minaj kylie jenner chloe kardashian with their big pointy long fingernails i'm like oh my god that's gigantic however them bear nails are on another level we've had jimmy for 21 years now got him as a little cub oh look at him wee baby oh do you want to know something whenever you look at a wee baby cub like that you're like look how cute it is it's so small it could never get big and then it turns into a big grizzly bear so this wee cub basically has been around these people his whole life like it is literally his only family whenever i go to zoos i'm kind of iffy because like obviously whenever you're there you don't know if the animals are being taken care of or if they're kept in like a small compound for the whole of their life some zoos are bad some are great you know some of them actually are really good with them. I think this is like a compound where they basically just take care of them because that wee fella would not survive on his own. But like it's so crazy how like they've literally cared for him his whole life. He basically is in like an old person's home like he's been cared for. And uh, he's been with us his whole life. Taking care of bears throughout their lives means that Jim and Susan develop deep bonds with the animals. Oh my god no. Oh I knew this was gonna come. I knew that there was gonna be a moment where they tell us about like the dead animals that sadly passed. Okay so so I think we're gonna find out animals have sadly passed away. Have they been doing this their whole life? I think they've been doing it a long time. Oh my god, human deaths don't make me sad or affect me, but whenever it comes to animals, I actually get really teary up. Like I genuinely get sad. Yeah, it's, you know, it's the same thing. We spend a lot of time with them. We care so much for them. We lost four all together so far here. Okay, so they've lost four wee bears. To them, it's literally like their children. Like I don't know if they've got children, but like their bears are literally their little babies. They take care of them every single day day and then like one day you just wake up and one of them are gone it must be heartbreaking it would be just like burying one of your family members i can't say i don't get upset about human deaths well mm, that's not true i do it depends if it's my family but like if it's an animal i don't care if it's not my dog or if it's not my bear like i will actually get really sad it's like bears are just like so innocent and like you know they just live their wee lives and then like they die back at the center it's lunchtime oh god right it's lunchtime these bears are gonna get fed also i'm pretty sure they're gonna eat a lot like these are big boys they need to get fed in the wild these bears need to eat up to 90 pounds of food every Every day. Okay, I don't care about them telling us about how much food they eat. I just want to see them literally playing a pool. They should definitely get football and like see the bears throw it to each other. It's quite crazy how they look at our human. Like, like, aren't monkeys the closest thing to humans? I mean, them bears are acting kind of like humans in their wee pool, but monkeys are a whole new level. Everything from baby elks to spawning salmon, berries, and plants. And here, the bears enjoy a daily diet of meat. Yep, and the meat is going to be his arm by the looks of it. I mean, if they ever run out of food, the bears are just going to eat them. Like, they're going to be the dessert. Is there like a treat that you'll only have like once a year? Maybe it's like a Christmas, like truffles or like, you know, a Christmassy food where like you really want it and you look forward to it at the end of every year. I bet you these bears really want to eat the humans there. Like, do you want to eat something? I know that he's taking care of me my whole life, but he's looking a bit tasty. Grains, breads, fruit and veg with the occasional marshmallow treat. Oh my God, so they literally get treats as well. These bears are lucky. They're getting filled with like a good diet. They've got quite a few bears. I wonder how much money they're spending taking care care of them oh my god feeding the family is like expensive full stop but imagine a big grizzly bear like that these bears once in a while they're always looking for food they really don't want for anything other than attention oh my god look at the way there's just like feeding them that's so interesting i've never actually seen a bear eat before like that's so weird i've watched videos of like monkeys eating stuff and like dogs eating like this is literally a bear and he's literally hand feeding it one of the other bears at the center is jenny when the bears are little and they're with their mother after they drink their milk they <sighs> suckle on her for a time and they they make this little noise that... oh my god so it's literally like purring like a cat also are these like bears allowed to like create their own families or are they like allowed to get pregnant i don't know why but i really want to 
go there and like kidnap one of them. Obviously that would not work out because I would get killed. But like imagine having like a wee bear, like you can make it like a wee bedroom and everything. Celebrate birthday parties today, get birthday parties. She just never grew up. She still does this. She looks at me as if I'm her mother. That is so cute. It is literally purring like a little cat. Do you wanna know something? After watching this video, I'm just gonna think that all bears are like this. Catch me going into the mountains of Alaska to go bear hunting. When she gets to the pinky, she likes to just bite down on that pinky. And one day that pinky is gonna snap off like a breadstick. I mean, obviously they've got a lot of trust with the bears, but do you reckon sometimes the bears go a wee bit too far where they get like a wee nibble? And like it does, you know, kind of pinch them. I love being around her and I'm happy that she feels that way about me still. Oh my god, it look, he has got like human eyelashes. Look at that. That wee thing's got good eyelashes. Look at them wee lashes. I don't know why, but for some reason it reminded me of a koala for a split second. Actually, maybe it did and I was looking at that and thinking it kind of looks like koala or like a panda. Do I know my animals? I've got a feeling I'm getting mixed up. It's all a wonderful thing to watch them grow up and to have them from very little and to make an impression on them. Exactly, like it literally is bringing up your own child, you know, obviously they're like giving birth to. And you care for them, you feed them, you wash them, you play with them, you give them loads of love and attention. I'm actually obsessed with this. Like after recording and editing this video, I'm literally gonna watch so many videos like this. I'm obsessed with these animals. They're like your children. That's how much you love them. And they give a lot back to you too, you know, they, they love you just as much. It's so crazy how they literally just like put their hands in their mouth and like mess around with them. Imagine playing chases with a bear, like hide and seek chases. Like literally, imagine if you just like ran away and the bear chase after you. Uh, sometimes you take it for granted, but it is a special relationship. Well, yeah, that is where I'm going to end the video. Basically, it's people who have a bear family. I'm not going to lie, I used to be terrified of them, but now I actually think they're really cute. However, if you ever do see a bear in public, don't do what they do because you will get eaten. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, press the big red subscribe button. And yes, I'll see you all in my next video.